Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, a number of things going on, uh, not the least of which being that apparently our allies decided, let's go to war with the progenitors. You know, the xenophile fallen empire. That would have been fine with us. And we could have just whittled down resources from... Naturally. But no. No, it doesn't want to do that. Instead, all our allies just want to murder. For some reason. And they're getting murdered right back, as we can tell here. They are not really going to win all that well. But we're not having any part of that war. So they can do as they want to us we're just going to deal with expanding our empire to fill out the holes here which we're working on quite nicely and then we'll send a uh, fleet over here to try and deal with the enigmatic fortress over here we might send two actually and the new hifnar Khanet is sitting right here they're probably going to be a more normal empire from here on out. Here's hoping. Um, going to see if we can actually contact them real quick. We can! Khan Ik, son of Veti. Successor Khanet. Hegemonic imperialists. Makes sense. Xenophobic, unfortunately. But fanatic militarist, which... You know, we're militarist ourselves. We can't really turn that down too badly. But anyway, there's that all explained, and now we continue on with our, well, expansion, more or less, for lack of a better phrase. Yeah, if I recall Science correctly, it was the Spuxalac that started this okay. shenanigans with the uh, Regimodium progenitors. I, Raximodium? Who is it? Yeah, Raxicodium, rather, progenitors. I was close. Okay, advanced afterburners. Finally have that out of the way so I don't have to worry about it, thankfully. Um, what are we going to do next? That's a good question. Um, this is just raising our other technology up. That's not necessarily going to be needed um, as badly. Um, let's go with the Devastator torpedoes. Why not? It's probably a good idea. Gets them out of the way. And I think some of our stuff used to, uses torpedoes, doesn't it? Uh, I think our defense platforms do, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. They use armored torpedoes, so let's up that to something else entirely. And then they use quantum missiles and whirlwind missiles. Okay, they're good. All right, whoa. Felon Day has a ruler class why did someone go from worker to ruler how did that work interesting but not much else we can do about that so is what it is okay we're gonna upgrade that to hall of judgment and hopefully that will be enough <sighs> have to turn down my headset it's been acting up in the last couple of days and it's more annoying every time I hear the acting up and I can't update it for some reason I don't understand I'm gonna go off on a tangent um, I don't understand why it wants to act up the way it has been it just doesn't want to connect to the updating system which Turtle Beach has for reasons I can't understand and it's just insanely aggravating Okay, tangent over. Now we go. Uh, Spuxlack Star Nation has declared them arrival again because they're stupid and they only want to do conquest. <sighs> Spuxlack are going to drive me up a wall. I swear, if I could kick them Construction from... Construction complete. If I could just kick them from the Federation, I would. But unfortunately, I don't have that power yet. Uh, 
Okay. So, anyway. Bead station is now fully upgraded as far as we can go. That's good. Close that up. And Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave has declared the Sutherian Entity the rival. That's fair. And Ketling Star Pack has entered a research agreement. Okay. Which reminds me, have I declared them my rivals yet? The Sutherian Entity? Yes, I have. Okay. I'm not going to end the rivalry. That would be stupid. Um, the Commonwealth of Man. We haven't declared them a rival, but I don't feel we need to? Yeah, no, I don't feel we need to. That should be fine. I find it hilarious that they go after the progenitors, which are a xenophile Construction race. Construction complete. And it's... And don't instead go for the archivists who are you know... Extremely technolog technologically rather savvy, and they are probably the better pick. So I don't understand. Ah, well, is what it is. I find it hilarious the Conclave has not dealt with these yet. <laughs> they are literally the easiest enemies they could deal with, and they just have not dealt with them. Wild. Anyway, uh, the Straya Starbase has finished upgrading. Good. Then I can throw in a couple extra hangar bays. There we go. And off-world trading company. There we go. That'd be good. Construction complete. Oh, and some of the other star bases are finishing too. Good. Nusakan Station. Build up some more hangar bays there. And. There's things that I'll need to throw on the station that I don't have yet. So I'll leave that spot open for now, I guess. Mm -hmm. The Rotenev. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was making Rotenev open up as a new station because they have easy access to some points of trade, including that one right there, the one next to them in Brillisir. Uh, Damia up there, and then Sethelbeck when they start being a center of trade with the planet that's in Sethelbeck Sanctuary. So, yeah. That's the plan there. And we might as well start a little bit on that. Getting the trade hubs going. Um, what else should I do with them, though? Maybe resource silos. That's probably for the best. And then upgrade to Starhold, and then we'll keep going from there. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright. Oh, the Numistic Order. Show us your wares. Bring in the human. Um, I'm not sure I understand that. During our pilgrimage across the galaxy, we have saved many lost souls. Look at this fine specimen, schooled in the art of numistic administration. See the inside of his mouth? That color there indicates a healthy individual. They make great laborers, too. And their reproductive capacities are astounding. What say you? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> are you trying? Are you trying to sell the humans as sex slaves that you have in your fucking... Uh, this, is our, this is late enough in the episode I can say fucking... Are you trying to sell them as sex slaves? Is that what you're trying to do? A healthy individual that's schooled in numistic administration, that's also great laborers and have astounding reproductive capabilities. Capacities. Are you for real right now? <laughs> Your phrasing is weird. And I don't have the money for it. So not right now. Get back to us later. Okay. Um, with that in mind, I do need to sell 
some food, because I have an abundance of it, as well as minerals. And then... Consumer goods. There we go. I can build up my money a little bit. I had to buy some alloys to continue upgrading some things. So, that is dealt with. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay. From the Racket Industrial Enterprise. Good workers and... Okay. Um... Costs 500 alloys. I don't necessarily need more pops right now. Because we're growing at a decent pace already. So, not interested. And then arc emitters is complete. Good. So then we just have to do focused arc emitters. And then we're done with everything other than... Expanding currently existing technology. Which will be done soon. Alright, naval capacity is going to be going up. Fantastic. Science division reports a new Beautiful. breakthrough. Alrighty. And I realize now that I didn't read some of these. Oops. Uh, powerful weapons that launch and light that launch. Let's try that again. Reggie, cut that out. <laughs> powerful weapons that launch and lightning arc of chaotic energy at targets, which in part can ignore armor and shields. Amateurs talk about tactics. Professionals study logistics. By ensuring our fleets are regularly and efficiently supplied, we can increase the number of vessels we can effectively support. This improved version of the standard afterburners provide an even greater boost to a ship's combat speed. Ha! Huh, I only just noticed that we already had Marauder missiles. So, why aren't they equipped on our... Huh. This is a weird mistake the game has made. And I'm not sure why it made that mistake. Have everything else upgraded as far as it'll go, right? Yeah, so why did it screw up on that? Interesting. Okay, and other ships are done upgrading, which means I can look at them, because now I'm concerned that the rest of them are screwed up. Yep, they're screwed up there too, because kinetic artillery should have automatically upgraded, and it didn't. Confusing and concerning. Why is that happening? Uh, hmm. It did it for Battleship? What? That's weird. It's extremely weird. I have no idea why it did that. Um, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's all good. It didn't upgrade a jump drive? Interesting. Okay, well, I'll fix that. Because having an extra speed and jump time means they get there much faster. Why didn't that get done? I'm very concerned that something screwed up. I don't know what would have happened. Alright, anyway. With that done, I can now update them. Might as well do so now. Um, upgrade them and them. Good. And they will head to the Nusakan station and do that. Okay, cool. Oh, almost missed that. Interstellar logistics was already completed. Good. Um, I didn't replace it with anything. That was my bad. Oopsie doodle. Uh, oh, I could easily just jump to the next one, which I desperately need because I am way over my fleet capacity right now. By maintaining a professional core of fleet liaisons, we can improve communications and the flow of orders throughout the chain of command. And bring us up to the point that I don't need to worry about being over anymore. I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Boy, did I need that. Okay. Speaking of things I need, I need more volatile motes and rare crystals being developed. Where can I put that? I have no idea. Well, that's done. That's good. 
Uh, hmm. I think I'm getting some crystals built there. Okay, I'll need to upgrade these as well. Upgrade those. Good. Upgrade that. Good. Is that draining? Oh, come on. Crime continues to be a problem on Camelot. Camelot? What? Since when did Camelot have an issue? Extensive criminal underworld has now taken root on the planet. Some areas have descended into lawlessness or been taken over completely by criminal organizations. What in the hell? Since when did that start? Launch anti-crime campaign. Obviously, we're going to have to do that. Hopefully that'll deal with that a little bit strongly. Strong enough, anyway. Here's hoping. Construction complete. Integrated gardens has now been completed. Beautiful. All right. Um. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Form galactic council. Oh, look at that. I would be one of the people in line for the Galactic Council. Ain't that nice? Ain't that delightful? I'm kind of a fan of that. If we did actually form a Galactic Council, that would be three... three societies on that council. I would be one of them. Based on diplomatic weight. I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. I'm extremely okay with that. Alright, cool. Then we'll let that run its course. The Wanambis Starbase is now completed in its upgrades. Oh. Wait, what? Why can't I build defensive platforms on it? What? Huh? What? I'm the confused. There's nothing in the... Huh? Okay, there's something new. Independent tribunals. Justice must occur for crimes soldiers commit and civilian casualties must be accounted for. We should set up independent tribunals to investigate, try, and punish war crimes. We would be in breach of this resolution. What? Uh, hmm. Then I shall abstain for now. Uh, comfort the fallen. I will also abstain from that for now. Okay. Alrighty. Well, here's hoping they don't pass because I don't want to be in breach of galactic law. Okay. Now I have enough money to do this. Might as well. Two merchants of Numa Pops arrive on Felon Day. Fair. There we go. Question is, would they fit anywhere? Or are they just a problem? Nope, they fit. They fit just fine from the look of it. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, how is the construction ship doing? Because I have them moving around a lot. Oh, they hadn't even finished with Ishinor complete. yet. Well, now they are. The new Sakan station is completed, except for that one thing, which I'll need later. I'll just wait on that for now. Alright, they're heading over to Janna, and then they'll head to Dathana. And then I guess they might as well do Mestros here. Construction complete. Get them out of the way. EM station is now complete. Good. I like to see that. I like to hear that. 
drug trade expands on Camelot. Oh, come on! With crime running rampant on Camelot, the sale of illegal narcotics has also increased to new record levels. A wide variety of addictive drugs from all over known space is now being smuggled onto the planet. Drug use has become widespread among the population to the detriment of general productivity. Really, I could say that quickly? <laughs> Alright. Ah. Fucking hell. This is not good. You're right. Why the f... Do they even have... They do have a corporate office. Can I... We are not the owner... Come on! I don't want them here. Damn it. I'm gonna have to replace this with... to replace it with a precinct house. That's the only way I'm going to be able to deal with any of this. <sighs> did I have that? that? Ship's I didn't realize I did. Oh, jeez. That's why I did that. Science Division oh! reports a new breakthrough. Oh, the immediate drop in food production. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, boy. Devastator Torpedoes is now complete. Good. Um, What should we do next? Giga Cannon. Oh, that seems impressive, but I'm going to move on to Citadel, because that's the cheaper option of the two. Plans for an immense battle station capable of holding its own against several strike fleets are now being drawn up. If realized, these citadels will become monuments to greatness as much as system hubs. Upgrading the Star Fortress, citadels are the largest and most heavily fortified type of starbase and can house four buildings and a full complement of six modules. Beautiful. Adds four buildings instead of just the three. And it is a, an extremely strong starbase instead. Which I'm just fine with. Aurora has one open. Good. What should we do with Aurora? Hmm. I want to say food processing, but I'm not sure how well that would work. Hmm. There is a dust desert on this planet, isn't there? Yes, there is. And spore vents. Gas plant engineer. I mean, I need the moats first of all. But... Oh, wait. It's already... It's already as a job. Never mind. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, then I shall do the moat harvesting trap. So that way I can start... Bringing more of those in. Construction don't have to worry complete. About it. Oh boy! All of those are completed quickly. All right, Anchorage, build up all of those. I need. I need. Where is that anyway? Saya Starbase. Saya Starbase is over here. Okay, that's fine. And let's put in a resource silo then. That'll help. The Joinum, I'm pretty sure, is up over here. Yep, yeah, right there. Good. Uh, let's put in more anchorages. Fantastic. And... More resource silos. Why not? Always could use more. And the Sabaran Maelstrom was over here. That's good. And more anchorages. <laughs> Please. All right, um, Black Hole Observatory. That's a good idea. By building a specialized science facility dedicated to studying a black hole, our empire will surely be able to see improvements in our understanding of physics. Always a good thing. Let's do it. Ships refitted. And the first Imperial Strike fleet has now been finished with. Good. We shall move them back to their location. Move them. Oh, they're still at Strass Station. Ships refitted. Cool. Um, 
real quick, let's double check after the torpedoes were made. They didn't get upgraded the way they should have. I'm starting to get annoyed by that. But I'm also starting to get concerned that defensive platforms are not being able to be built, period. What the hell happened? Oh, please don't tell me the game is bugged beyond all recognition. Oh, come on. <laughs> I already had to do a redo. Don't make me do redo of a redo. Come on. I have no idea why it won't work. It's beyond dumb. It's beyond dumb. Construction complete. All right. Okay. Estrella Starbase is now complete. Can I build? No. Okay, then it's not complete. Now is it? Alright. Uh, I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm absolutely not sure complete. what the problem is. It's just going to drive me up a wall until we find out. All right. Repeal Tianqi Converse Conservation. I was about to say conversation. That ain't right. Uh, no. We oppose that strongly. Um, you also oppose that. Oh, boy. Does have the support of a lot of people, though. Ugh. That's fair. Also, the... God damn it. I was already in line for the Galactic Council and then the Plisma Syndicate swoop in and steal it out from under me. Damn it. Okay, least sack starbase is now complete. Good. Built some anchorages and a starport. Not starport. Uh, resource silo because I'm pretty sure the least sack one is over here where it's not going to be much of help to anyone in any other capacity. So that's fine. Call that good. All right. I would really like it if that one would eventually... Yeah, it's demoting the worker in way too long a time. Just do it faster, please. I would appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Oh, that was my can-making noise. I apologize. The aluminum of the can is a little crinkly. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, it's finally done. These upgraded emitters are equipped with better focusing lenses, resulting in a more powerful energy discharge. Hell yeah. And now we get to focus on other technology. Yay. Oh, I already did applied superconductivity. When did I do that? Ah, well, doesn't matter. Um, let's go with shield harmonics, because that's a good one. Perfect. Hey, Senate floor is now in session over this. And I oppose it, and hopefully the rest of them will finally see sense and do the same. I'm hoping, anyway. Alright, and I think that construction ship is almost done with its shenanigans it almost is all right once it's done with mestros i will have them build the mining and whatnot stuff there the mining and research station and then i'll get them started on everything else that has not been touched yet and then we'll be good hopefully i really hope so okay Actually, Construction you know what? complete. Whoa. Okay, they're all done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Ratanev is not fully done. Not yet. Still got that and the hangar bay to build. 
and then an off-world trading company, which would be nice. And upgrade one more time to Star Fortress. And then it shall be good. And it shall also reach Sethel back. Alright, they're done. Fantastic. Move them over. When credits past hand... When... <laughs> Let me try that again. When credits pass hands, Numa smiles. Oh, doing this again, huh? All right, fine, I'll do that. Simply because I could use the people. Maybe not on Felon Day, but elsewhere in the Empire. <sighs> Let's resettle that human ruler. Settle them on... Sanctuary. Why not? Alright. And let's get this started with an energy grid or gas extraction wells. What do we have going here? What planetary features do we have? We have both a dust desert and a bubbling swamp. Both are good. But we also will need other things. So let's go with the... You know what? I need moats now. Pretty sure we're almost there, but I still need them now. So we'll build the most harvesting traps first. And then we shall also do the rest of these. For when we have enough population to support it. Hey! Another tradition we can unlock. And that finishes out prosperity. Beautiful. A focus on franchising allows even the most mundane planet to open thriving, dynamic business. Providing local jobs and increasing trade value. City districts provide one additional clerk job. That's fine by me. And that finishes that, and we get a new Ascension perk, which I shall do with... I don't know. I didn't plan that far ahead. Mm. Galactic Force Projection is more and more tempting every day, though. I will say that much. But, World Shaper would also allow us to terraform planets into Gaia planets. We have already finished the evolutionary mastery line, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Nope, excuse me. A little burp there. Not going to do the Colossus project, because I've decided we are more of a peacekeeping sort. <sighs> hmm. Eternal Vigilance, that would be nice. Galactic Contender would be very good. That would also increase our diplomatic weight by 20%. The fallen empires cling to the ruins of their decrepit civilizations, ever fearful of the younger and more dynamic races that surround them. Their time has long since passed. Uh, don't necessarily want to do that. Um... Because I like the fallen empires we have currently. I don't want to screw with them. It's just everyone else around me that wants to screw with them. But I don't necessarily want to myself. Defender of the Galaxy. Damage to the endgame crisis factions would be nice. I'll leave that towards the end. I'll leave that towards the last Ascension perks. If there's any that need to be taken up, I'll pick that up that I haven't already picked up, that is. Um, I'm really wanting Galactic Force Projection, though. I'm really wanting it really badly. <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure that I want to do that. Hmm.
arcology. I'm not sure that would work well for me in this current build I'm doing. Oh, boy. Oh, I should have planned this farther ahead. <laughs> because now I'm just sitting here looking at things. Oh, uh, boy. Mm. Grasp the void? No. Let's, let's just go with galactic force projection. I think that's going to be the best for us. The fleet is the instrument by which the will of our empire is made manifest. We live or die, depending on its strength. And that's a fair enough point. We shall then go into supremacy after this, and then diplomacy, because we're already in a freaking federation. We don't need to worry about diplomacy for a while. Alrighty. Construction complete. Hey, Science division finished. reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful. All right. So there was another thing. Let's explore the natural wormhole out of Mestros, which should lead to Oxcleary. And then from there, we'll see how that works. And then what's there? Okay, Doctrine of Fleet Liaisons is completed. Wow, we have increased <laughs> by a drastic margin our uh, fleet's uh, naval capacity. Thank merciful Jesus. Okay, by maintaining a professional court. Yep, we already did that. I already said it. It's all good. Um, hmm. Penal colonies, huh? And then resort worlds. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's an idea, and they are cheap. They are extremely cheap. Hmm. Let's go with the penal colony, because I will probably eventually need to make a planet that is specifically just that. Through the development of special penal worlds, criminals can be rehabilitated through honest hard labor. Some may be in need of permanent rehabilitation. That works for me. Works fine by me. And then after they're done exploring that, the worm hole in Mestros has been explored. It connects to the Oxcleary system. Mysterious tanker, huh? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to target that and make them go through it. So that way we have at least an idea of what's going on in here. Hey! And explore a natural wormhole. I'm surprised it took this long for that achievement to pop, but okay. The ISS engineer has encountered a massive being of pure energy in the Oxcleary system. A veritable vortex of psionic forces, this entity should only be approached with the utmost caution. Bafflingly, the Oxcleary system itself seems to be entirely devoid of any connection to the subspace hyperlane network. Whether this entity's presence has severed the system's hyperlane connections, or if unexpected subspace fluctuations trapped it here, is unknown. One matter is known, however. The repeating signal we first registered in the Mestro system appears to originate from Oxcleary 2. Okay, get, get, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out, get out, get out, get out, go back. Start doing your job here. Instead of being in there. Whoo boy. Real bad. Real bad what's going on in there. Can't be having him go into that yet. Not until we have for sure. You son of a bitch. You 
fucking bastard. Stop doing that. You fucks. Oh, I'm gonna have to make that one be a goddamn... I'm gonna have to make... I'm gonna have to make more of them. I'm going to have to, because they keep fucking opening branch offices. I can't keep doing this with this crap. I just can't. Ah. Luckily, we're already near the next marker with this planet anyway, with the population. Okay. Science right. Division reports a new breakthrough. Dumb bastards. Okay. Citadel is now complete. Beautiful. Now... While I want to build a Titan, these are too good to pass up. To complete construction projects of truly staggering scales, we must first achieve a fundamental understanding of both the engineering and resource storage requirements for such megastructures. A mobile space base of unparalleled proportions, the Juggernaut ship class takes offensive warfare to a whole new level. These colossal constructs are as much space stations as they are ships. The Juggernaut is an immense mobile station that can repair and construct ships, which means it can serve as a forward base of operations during offensive campaigns. And it requires colossal assembly yards. Abandoning the traditional concept of dry docks, colossal spaceships are assembled by a number of highly mobile independent construction platforms. Whereas Titans would need to be built with, uh, something similar. Modeled after the hulking shadows looming in the core systems of the stagnant ascendancies, the Titan class can be outfitted with X-size weapons. These massive warships are the pride of the fleet. They are bristling with weapons and typically serve as flagships. And the Ion Cannon also gets unlocked with it. Ion Cannons are massive defensive platforms that can be built to orbit a starbase, blasting enemy ships with deadly fire from long range. Which ends up being defensive. Uh, ends up basically replacing uh, the defensive platforms. Kind of. Not entirely, but mainly. That said, since I can't build anything on defensive platforms anyway, it's kind of a moot point. But I very much want the Titans. They're very good. But I also want these. <laughs> I don't want to risk them disappearing on me. I'm going to go for the Juggernaut. That would be delightful. Alrighty. Construction complete. And the Maelstrom Starbase is completed. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Does this one have... I forget. Does it actually have... It does have... Okay, good. I'm going to move the Imperial Strike Forces. Okay, that's not what I meant. You whack jobs. Move them here. There we go. Okay. And then they're going to take a similar-ish route. At least one that avoids the problems. And I'm going to move them over here so that way they can go complete. after the Ruthari Enigmatic Fortress a little easier. The Lysak Starbase is complete. I don't want to upgrade it to Citadel. It's not yet. The Straya one. The Straya Station, though. Maybe. That might be for the best. Yeah, I think I, I like that idea. And then we shall do that for the Nusakan Station as well. When we get enough alloys! Because holy shit, I'm down to 62! Oh boy! And also, it's near the end of the episode, so 
might as well also end the episode. So, yeah, we'll do that. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and building our fleets, you know, a little stronger with a juggernaut also in the mix. And, uh still expanding our empire as usual we've also discovered a threat here that we're going to have to deal with it has a psionic entity and also there's mining core droids there that's weird but we'll have to deal with a psionic entity before we can do anything in that regard and the fleet's probably going to be busy with the enigmatic fortress first before we start doing anything in regards to that and then we'll have our construction ship building you know, a whole bunch of mining stations and whatnot in other places where they, uh, you know, left behind star bases, which, you know, kind of a good thing to be doing. No need to leave resources just sitting there, not being collected when we can collect them. So, yeah, that's the game plan, and it will be set in motion soon for you.